This is the sad story of the first dog in space, or should I say the first living creature in Earth orbit. Laika, a Moscow street dog, became the first creature to orbit Earth, but unfortunately she did die in space. On November 3rd, 1957, the Soviet Union launched a dog named Laika aboard satellite Sputnik 2. However, some would argue that she is not the first animal in space. They say that there were some fruit flies that the United States launched on a suborbital mission in February of 1947, but I would just completely discount the fruit flies and give the title to this little dog because she definitely deserves it more. So originally, she was named Little Curly and was a black and white mutt. She was later named Laika, her current name, which actually means Barker because it is said that she barked during a radio interview and at the time of the launch of Sputnik 2 she weighed about 13 pounds and you might be wondering what was the overall reason for sending this dog into space well Soviet scientists wanted to send dogs into space before humans so they could better understand microgravity and other aspects of space flight that might cause harm to the human body so what they would do is collect as many female stray dogs as they could who were brightly colored so that the footage of them would be clear from these, they would select the ones that were most obedient and the ones that were most tolerant to loud noises and air pressure changes. The researchers would also take the final candidates to test runs in small capsules. Some of these test runs would last for weeks, and at the end of it all, Barker was picked to be the one that would be sent into space. There was also another dog that they could have sent up there. This dog was named Albina, but they were more attached to her because she had recently had puppies. So therefore, Laika was picked. So now we are nearing closer and closer to the day where this poor dog is gonna have to go by itself up into Earth orbit. Now before Sputnik 2, Sputnik 1 was launched on October 4th, 1957. It was 184 pounds and it was a beach ball sized sphere that basically just emitted beeps back to Earth. Now Sputnik 2 was a lot more advanced and it launched just a month later. This spacecraft was much larger and more elaborate. It was about 13 feet tall and 6.5 feet wide, weighing in about 1,120 pounds. It carried some specific instruments to measure solar radiation, cosmic rays, and of course, we cannot forget a cabin for Leica that was equipped with a video camera. So you may be wondering, what was it like for her inside this capsule? Well, she could sit and lie down in the cabin, which was equipped with an air regeneration system and some padding. She was decked out in a harness and a crude sanitization device and had access to some food and water. As you can imagine, it was an extremely uncomfortable place for her to live, especially with all the noise from outside as the rocket was launching and all the banging around and moving around. It must have been very annoying and she must have been scared to death. So basically, as we can see here, it was a suicide mission for this poor dog. The satellite was not designed at all to come back to Earth and systems on the satellite suggested that she did survive the launch and they claim that the dog died painlessly after a week in Earth orbit. But no one can really prove this fact. Some other accounts suggest that the spacecraft may have overheated because its thermal control system did not work properly and this might have been the cause of her death. So Sputnik 2 continued to circle Earth until April 14, 1958, when it re-entered Earth's atmosphere, burning up along with the remains of its brave passenger. It completed over 2,500 orbits and 162 days in space. And interestingly, many people reportedly saw a fiery tail from Sputnik 2 re-entering Earth's atmosphere over New York City. So that right there is the somewhat sad story of the first dog or living creature in orbit. So if you enjoyed this short episode, make sure to subscribe as we continue to explore the wonders and mysteries of the universe.